What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the video. The other day, Timberland dropped his masterclass. And if you guys don't know what masterclass is, it's a platform where some of the top industry experts in their field come together and they share a masterclass on how they create their art from filmmaking to music production. They share all their tips and their tricks on how they create their art. I was scrolling through the gram and I kept on noticing this ad pop up and it's Timbaland in the studio making a beat. The legendary Timbaland that worked with Missy Elliott, Aaliyah, made Promiscuous Girl work with Justin Timberlake. So when I saw this, I thought, man, I have to cop this. I need to learn from one of the greatest to ever do it. So I bought the course and in this video, I'm going to be using one of the techniques that I learned from that video course. Plus kind of giving my opinion on it, giving a review and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. Before I get into it, hit that subscribe button right now and join the family and hit that bell notification so every single time I post a video, you get a notification, you won't miss another one. With that being said, let's get into the video. Ocean gang go drown. So in the masterclass, there's about 15 different lessons where he goes through and he teaches you how to make a beat, but he also gives you song origins. And it's basically a behind the beat, a breakdown of how he produced some of the biggest hits of his career, like Dirt Off Your Shoulder, Pony, Are You That Somebody. One of the big keys that I take away from this course though, is that the way how Timberland's process works, it's not really about the sound, if it sounds good, but it's all about how it feels, if it feels good, if it makes you move in a certain way, or if it throws you off, you think it's gonna go this way and it goes that way. In one of the beginning lessons, he actually makes a beat using his mouth, making a beat from a beatbox beat. So that's what I'm gonna try and do right now. I'm gonna try and make a beat, starting with a beatbox. Let's see how it goes. Right now, I've made the outline of my beat using my mouth. Now I'm gonna go in there in Logic Pro X and I'm just gonna add some more stuff to it. I'm gonna try and add some air candy, try and add some chords maybe, and just try and spice up a bit more. So let's go. 2,000 years later. All right, so I finished editing the beat. I actually changed quite a lot, a lot more than I thought I was gonna change. So I kept the first melody that I put in. 
added in a lot of reverb, put in some low pass and EQ'd it. And then I added in a piano melody on top of it as well. One thing that I learned from the masterclass is that sometimes he doubles his sounds and he puts one to the left, one to the right just slightly to make a V shape. So I doubled that, I doubled the piano melodies and now we've got both of them panning. And then also I got a Shadow Dynasty sample chopped up a bit. Added in a bunch of effects on top of it as well. Like some reverb, some spreader, some channel EQ. Then I put on the pitch adjustment, the sound sifter to put it in tune. So all together for the melody it's like this. Then we added in some drums. I did the same thing with the hi-hats, duplicated it and panned one to the left, panned one to the right. Each hi-hat has alternating velocities, so it gives it a different bounce. Then the kick, a clap, and a snare to go underneath that. Then I added in some ear candy to give it some more rhythm, some more bounce in the drums, just some perks. This one's a shaker right here. Now I added in another perk in there that's quite subtle. Sounds like this. And then some more reverb on that. From the beatboxing beat as well, I've left in one of the, the perks, the one where I was clicking my fingers, but I've turned it quite far down just so we can't hear the background noise too much. The last thing I added in was a bass. This is like a sub bass that I found. It's got a bunch of effects on it, some overdrive, some low pass, some channel EQ, some phaser, and then all together for the beat, this is how it sounds. Overall, I really enjoyed the Timberland Masterclass. One thing that you notice from the beginning is that he brings like a real energy, a real contagious energy to the video. You're watching it and he's making a beat and you're just nodding along with him, just going with it. It sounds sick, but that, but that energy, it's all about the feeling and the vibe. When he's making beats, it's not always just about what sounds good together or what's meant to go together like a puzzle, but instead it's all about the feeling and what feeling you can give to the listener. If you've seen that viral video of where Timberland is playing his beats to Jay-Z and he plays the dirt off your shoulder beat. Jay-Z starts, starts moving. That's the kind of vibe, the feeling that he wants to give, just makes people move in a certain way. So would I recommend this? Hell yeah. Definitely. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And also let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys think of this beat. And yeah, shout out this person from the last video. Thanks for commenting. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the future.